And uh, we get to the feature story of the day where Paul Shalala profiles a 37-year-old double amputee of Luansha who has decided to create employment for herself by opening a school where she teaches five grades on a wheelchair. Take a look. Hers is a life lived against the odds, with almost everything seeming to be against her. Cynthia Sichula has triumphed over her ills. For years, she lived an ordinary and relatively healthy life of a teacher. But little did she know that she had a serious affliction. She was struck with gangrene. Gangrene is potentially a life-threatening condition that happens when body tissues die. At its worst, a body part begins to rot and amputation is inevitable. In 2009, Cynthia's gangrene had wasted both her legs at the knee and doctors had no option but to amputate. I got gangrene. I didn't know that disease or that illness. I was just told by the doctors and they explained to me. Yes, they told me that it was gangrene. My both legs started drying up. I had dry gangrene. I, I stopped feeling pain. And then the doctors decided that they should remove both legs so that uh, in future maybe I could wear those uh, limbs and I could walk. Yes, so that's how it happened. I just got sick one day in 2008 on the first. As we were going into 2009, that's when my, uh, my both legs were amputated in April. And so ended her life as a teacher. Confined to a wheelchair, Cynthia had difficulties in getting a job as a teacher. To make matters worse, her husband also lost his job at Baruba Mine when the company was placed under care and maintenance. With both of them out of employment, Cynthia decided to form Zuka Nursery and Primary School inside her two-bedroom house in Wansha Section 25 area. So I just thought of opening this school in this room. This is my living room. The school is three years old now. I opened it in 2014. And I have pupils from nursery school up to grade four. For the past three years that the school has been in operation, a number of pupils who have passed through her hands have gone on to continue with higher education. This is a consolation. We've taught many pupils from this school. Some are even in grade 8 in upper schools. Even these, the ones who are here, they are very sharp. Very soon, uh, people like that boy will be graduating. He will be going to, to the higher schools like uh, in Kambo Primary School because uh, here I don't have grade 5. Her condition does not make it easy for her to teach as she is confined to a wheelchair and movements are restricted. One of her challenges is writing on the board. As for the grade ones and the babies, someone has to move around to check what they are doing and uh, how they are responding to the work which you've given them. Now the two is the space is just too small for us. I can't move to check their work. Instead, the pupils they have to come to me on my table to show me their work, which is not supposed to be the case. Um, I, as the teacher, am supposed to go around checking the, the work. Her son, who is one of her pupils, helps out, though his assistance is limited. But Cynthia is undaunted. I'm appealing to the first lady to help me with the, the, the building of the school, the classroom. As you can see, the, the classroom is just too small for these young ones. They can even hurt themselves. They don't have where to sit. I've got only two desks and the board. The, the board is, I've got, I've got challenges with the boards. I use the walls when I'm writing. Her teaching has not been in vain. The pupils here are sharp and very alive to current affairs. Who is the president of Zambia? Yes, he's president number what? Number six. And who is the first female vice president of Zambia? Now, who was the first youngest diplomat in Zambia? The young boys and girls enjoy being taught by their sole teacher. 
because she she teaches very well and she's very sharp. Yes, it's very fun and well. We are sharp here and I like everything in here, although it's small. And her neighbors marvel at her endurance. She's making a lot of impact because from the, the pupils that have graduated from the school, they're doing fine wherever they go. Mm. Uh, she's a very good teacher. You can see from the, the way they were, they were answering questions, they're so bright. So that lady needs to be helped. It is obvious that Cynthia is one of the rare souls who remain undaunted and keep going even when it is darkest. Paul Sharala, ZNBC News in Luansha. And uh, on the art segment this morning, we look at Easter. Kitoli to theatre plays host to the